How's it going, RGV? It's time for your Fox 2 Sports. The RGV Vipers played their first home game in nearly a month tonight after going 2-4 and four on a six-game road trip. The team is trying to string together some wins. Taking on the Oklahoma City Blue tonight, the Vipers looking for a win after losing five of the last nine. Matt Carlino with the long-range jumper. He airballs, but Joshua Smith is there for the cleanup and the two points. RGV will lead by one at the end of the first. OKC's Marcus Teague looking to take the lead. Breaks Chris Walker's ankles and walks into the paint for the layup. He's got 17 points points so far. RGV will lead 50-46 to at the half, but OKC outscored the Vipers 39-22 to in the third and is on top right now 104-98 to in the final minutes. Here's what the Southwest Division standings look like, not counting tonight's results. Uh, the Austin Spurs stand at the top of the with a record of 15 and 7. The Texas Legends are a game and a half ahead of the Vipers. The Legends play tomorrow against Bakersfield. RGV is third and will drop to a game behind Texas if it goes on to lose tonight. The Oklahoma City Blue is at the basement of the division. The Valley View Tigers are one of the most successful high school soccer programs in the Valley. The team took on the rebuilding process over the summer and added a special player to the team who is bringing the spark they needed. Juan Beltran has the story. The Valley View Tigers are off to another promising start this 2016 season. A lot of it in part to a special father and son bond. Damien Damien Magallan spent the previous two seasons playing in Austin and now has the opportunity to suit up for the Tigers and plans to make the most of it. We know how we each other we play. Um, it's awesome and we just want to go and get what we want. It's a state championship. 31 years separates Magallan Jr. and Sr. Both are always looking to get better on and off the field, which brings them closer every day. He has given me a lot of tips. Look, Dad, we should do this or we should play this way. The knowledge and experience he brings has been a good compliment for the two of us. He's made me a better father and he's become a better son, something that we implement on the field. Coach Maya. The chemistry between this father and son duo gets stronger with every practice and every game that's played. I love it. I, I love being here. I love my dad being my coach. I feel more comfortable with my dad. The Valley View Tigers are currently 9-0 and are chasing the 31-5A district title. Reporting for Fox 2 Sports, Juan Beltran. The United Soccer League announced today that the, uh, announced today the alignment, regular season, and playoff format for the 2016 USL season. 29 teams will be competing for the USL Cup in the league's sixth season. Six new teams will be joining the USL this year. One of them, the RGV FC Totals, who will make part of the Western Conference. The 30-game regular season kicks off on March 25th and concludes on September 25th. JJ Watt was named the Defensive Player of the Year by Pro Football Writers of America today for a second straight year, making him the first player player ever in the history of the NFL to win the distinction in consecutive years. By doing so, Watts also joined Bruce Smith and Reggie White as the only players to have won the honor three times. Watt also won it in 2012 and 2014. Watt finished the season leading the league in sacks with 17 and a half. The Texans claimed their third ever AFC South title this past season.